got some great news for you today. Oh, I sure do. What? What? what wait, wait. What? Oh. Okay. Well, there was a there was a thing in France. Uh, yeah, a cathedral burned down. Yeah. Well. Uh, okay. Notre Dame, Our Lady Church. Uh, cathedral. Right. Well, you may say that's not good news, man. That's terrible news. That's terrible. Yeah, but you know, it's uh, there's always some good to be found in the bad. I want to cheer you up. The first thing I want to say is the thing I'm going to end the, the clip with as well. You know, buildings like this, they're, they're like 800 years old. And they just take a lot of punishment over the years. They just do. And and they get through it. I mean, eventually, this disaster is, is just going to be one more chapter in a very long and and crazy history. If you want to know more, check out the Wikipedia article on the Notre Dame. It's really interesting. You know, there were like 400 French firemen fighting that fire, and they stopped the fire from getting to the the two towers on the west side. And if they hadn't stopped it, and they were very close, if it was like 15 minutes more, they could have they could have gone to those two towers, and then the towers would have caught fire, and then these insanely big bells would have fallen down and just smashed the whole cathedral open in the end, right? Very close call. Amazing work by those firemen. Can you imagine what that's like being in a building? It's on fire. You can't get out. And it's a fire burning above you. I mean, it's crazy. Those two bells up there, one of them's called Emmanuel, just like the president. And the other one's called Marie. And together they weigh nearly 20 metric tons. And the biggest of the wrecking balls you can get out there are around five and a half metric tons. So that would have made a big mess. Way to go, fireman. Now, one guy was hurt. Pretty serious, I guess. I can't find anything else out about him. So, yeah, I really hope he or she is going to be okay. But it just goes to show you how dangerous their work is. And uh, really great work saving those two towers. Other great wins we've got from this um, event that helps us appreciate what we have sitting around us in riches. The great organ seems to have survived. It's got 8,000 pipes and it's okay. Well, well, they're going to check it out. It may be damaged by water, but it's intact. The three rose windows seem to have survived, and that's amazing. If you think that with glass windows, stained glass windows, they're basically little pieces of glass held together by lead, which is a metal that melts really easily. You had 800 degrees Celsius temperatures in there. That's pretty amazing. So way to go, rose windows. Otherwise, the President Emmanuel Macron has promised that they're going to rebuild the cathedral within five years, which is a crazy plan. And people have already donated over 650 million euros to help with the reconstruction. So that's a great start in one day. I mean, wow. So it's going to be all right. And if, in maybe in five years, it'll be as good as old. Yeah, 800 years is a long time. Three cheers for the Paris Fire Brigade. Yeah, yeah, woo woo, très bien. And like I say, buildings like this, they take a lot of punishment and neglect over centuries. So don't worry, in a little while, and maybe another couple of decades, this will just have been one sad blip in a long and complex history. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>